It used to be boxers were called, okay, this guy's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Now it's, no, you're the best pound for pound boxer in the world. These guys are the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Training guys pretty much from the outset of my career when I started fighting professionally. When I was a guy that just said, you know, you've got to be well rounded. You've got to have uh, good jiu jitsu, good wrestling, good boxing, and good kickboxing. And those were the four main pillars of MFS. I think it was a, the group of guys in there that made the gym above everything else. Back in the early days of the sport, everybody was kind of looking for a home, and we all kind of gravitated towards Pat in Iowa there because he had a good foundation and he had, he had things going in the right direction. Great group of guys who trained really, really hard, beat each other up, and uh, weeded out the week. Growing up with them was great. All the MFS guys, we were beasts, you know, we were real good at getting each other tough. We were the best team in the world, everyone knew it. Everybody was scared to fight us. Former college wrestler and two-time UFC champ Pat Militich was the architect of the system that produced UFC champions Tim Sylvia, Jens Pulver, Dave Manet, Matt Hughes, and a long list of successful fighters. Soon everyone was making the trip to Iowa. I think people were coming to train just simply because myself having started to win on TV and winning a title guys gravitated towards that just like they do now. Back then, a lot of people trained hard, but they didn't really specifically focus on conditioning, and Pat always did. More than anything else, I think it was, maybe they could sense the work ethic, the desire to be, to be the best. I don't see how anybody else could have worked harder. You have these coaches say, do this and do that, and it's like, hey, asshole, have you been in this position? Well, as a matter of fact, I have. Sit up. You need to do this, you need to do that. Why, because he's done it. You see him putting in the work, you see him winning fights. He was leading by example and teaching at the same time. He was a five-time world champion. Out of all the coaches out there, I don't know if anyone has the credentials that he has. He was the world champion when we went up there. We all looked up to Pat. Anything Pat had to say, we all listened and followed instructions. 